Hi, I'm John Bilan, the men's basketball coach at the University of Michigan. Uh, it's great pleasure today I get a chance to share with you some of the ideas uh, we're using right now with the new 10K shoot away. Uh, it's a great uh, device that we use to improve our shooting. Uh, our guys are on it all the time. And uh, we, I think we've shown over the years uh, what a good shooting team we can be. A lot of that has to do uh, with the 10K and uh, how it's helped our guys on their own. Uh, we're going to do, a, we're gonna do a, a variety of things today. They're not going to be some innovative drills uh, as much as I'm going to show you some of the secrets that we use to make sure that our guys can shoot well in games. Uh, we're, gonna, we have, we're blessed with uh, uh, great opportunities here with, uh, with uh, some of my assistant coaches uh, who can shoot, really shoot the ball, we hope today. Uh, we're going to use, uh, we, we use, we're Nike all the way, and we're so proud to be Nike and Jordan brand, but Nike basketball, Jordan band gear. Uh, but these are one opportunities in practice. I use this bat ball, which we de I developed with the rock, uh, which is the beeline ball. You can see the beeline, pretty smart, huh? It's a, it's a stripe along the ball that we use uh, exclusively in our shooting drills to make sure that our guys are thinking rotation. Because I think it's huge um, in the rotate to have that great rotation uh, each time that you shoot it. So we're going to talk about footwork. Um, we're going to talk about cutting these boring type of things that probably your team may not want to hear from you, but they're so essential to being a good shooter. So uh, really look forward to doing this. Hopefully you can learn a lot from this this time that we spend with you on video. Thank you very much. Go blue. What I love about uh, the 10K is that our guys can come in the gym all by themselves and get shots off. I think you have to plan on that as much as you can, that there's a kid that really wants to get shots up. There's no rebounder. There's not a teammate that wants to go that day. He just really wants to work by himself to get his own individual numbers. So I'm going to start off with our first series of drills that guys would do with. They're the only ones in the gym. So I have Chris Hunter here, ex-Michigan uh, player, NBA player. Uh, that is going to help us here with just what you would do if you walked into the gym right now and you were just starting your shooting workout. So I think you work from the inside out and uh, we're going to put the gun in the middle. He's going to shoot the ball from about 15 feet, then shoot at 18, then uh, college three, then NBA three. So before we go, I think it's important, slow down at the beginning. Get your footwork right. Take your time. So we're going to put it on five seconds. Really let him think in between his shots. Here we go. So he's catching the ball, he's shot ready right now, he's catching the ball on the split step and going up, finding the seams. Nice and easy, he's, take your time, really work on your, don't compromise your shot here to make shots other than get your form right, almost like a relief pit or a bullpen guy trying to get ready for a game. So I would say, you know, make about five there and then move, he's gonna move back a little bit further in, just inside that three point line same thing, see his split step here, he's gonna catch it nice and wide. It allows him to find the seams so that he can get really good spin on the ball. As he gets better at this, then we start teaching a pogo stick where he's gonna catch the ball on two and just go up with the shot. It, it takes a lot of practice. I would recommend you go back and do the split step again, Chris, right, just to get his hands right ready so that he can get rid of the ball. But Gradually, all our guys will shoot both ways. Let's get some threes in, Chris. Let's say he made five there. Now he's going to shoot threes, right? We need got to pump up the gun a little bit more in that one to get that done. So he may take a moment to do that. But this is the only time we'll change that speed right now. But still, he doesn't really care. He's just trying to get his rhythm, his shot. He may be watching the ball in this one to make sure he has good spin. And then finally, we think it's important that you shoot from NBA. NBA is going to get you, you're going to have to have better loft on the ball, right? Uh, if you can space teams by having guys that shoot from NBA, I don't think there's a huge difference between this shot and this shot for accomplished shooters. 